Hi, I'm Ellen Buttrick and I row for Great Britain. I began rowing in 2012. I was inspired by the athletes in London 2012. Uh, signed up for a Learn to Row course, started the course and quickly progressed into the senior women's squad. I signed up for a Talent ID Day with the Great British Rowing team. Didn't expect anything, didn't think that they'd want me to be in there. Did some tests for them and they said that I had the right mental and physical attributes that they were looking for and that they thought that I had the talent to be in the squad eventually. I made my international debut at the 2018 World Rowing Championships and became world champion three months after joining the senior squad. Um, a year later, we went back and we became world champions again and we broke the world record. You got out what you put in. I'd see that split getting quicker, I'd see the weights getting heavier and that's what I really enjoyed about it and that's why I stuck with it because you could see your progress every day and it's hard and it's tiring and it's cold outside but when you get that progress and so when you see that you're improving and you're eking your way up the leaderboard it makes it all worth it because you are achieving something that you've gone out to achieve. When I was at university I was in second year and I found that I had problems reading the board in front of me. Um, I went to the hospital in Newcastle. I went by myself because I didn't think there'd be anything wrong. And they told me that um, I had definitely had something wrong with my eyes. They could see it on the scans and that it wasn't something that could be fixed by glasses and that it could get worse. It probably would get worse. And I sat there and I took it in and I said, does this mean I can row at the Paralympics? <laughs> So I have Stargardt's disease and it's a form of juvenile macular degeneration which means that my central vision is deteriorating. So if I'm sat in the boat and I look straight ahead of me, I can't see the person in front but I can see their blades and so that's why rowing's quite a good sport for me because I can see where that blade is, I can hear where it is and I can feel the run of the boat and so I can follow the person in front of me without having to see them. Each person has an adaptation in the boat for them. So depending on what your impairment is, the squad are able to work around that and to make it so that we can all row together in the same form. Um, on land, I find it difficult to read the ergo screen. And so we can magnify the screen for me. And also if I'm doing a test, then we'll have people behind me who can shout out the splits and they can shout out what rate I'm going and tell me if I need to go a bit quicker, which is usually the case. Uh, <laughs> what I'd say to somebody who's thinking of Stein rowing is to just come and give it a go because everyone's here, we're all trying our best, we're all working hard and if you want to come and try and work hard with us, then you're welcome to. I've been the new person in the team and the thing that I found was that people were very welcoming to me. They put me in the four and they had to take me on as an athlete who wasn't the same standard of rowing as them and who wasn't as strong as they were and hadn't got the experience that they had by rowing with them and eating dinner with them and by socialising with them that I learned how to be the athlete that I am now. I do believe that my visual impairment has given me the opportunity to row um, as a job and I'm really grateful for that. It has taken uh, quite a few things away from me but the one thing that it has given me is this and I try to make the most of that. If this hadn't happened then I wouldn't be able to be rowing for a job, coming down and doing the spot that I love every single day and I'm really happy that I get to do this. GB Power Rowing. Not for everyone.